From Epic quietly deleting a feature to a change nobody noticed, these are 33 things secretly removed in Fortnite. Yes, it is officially true, an entire rarity has been axed from the game. As you explore the new map, you'll notice that keys aren't dropping anymore. They're gone along with the hollow chest they were used to open, but this has caused a massive feature to be secretly deleted. Exotic weapons, they are nowhere to be found in chapter five. That is just like old consumables. For half a decade, we've gotten used to hiding while popping a med kit, but now the entire system has changed. Fortnite replaced all healing items with a new feature that lets you patch up while walking. If you cancel the animation, you'll lose the item, but not the health it already gave you. It's a massive change and players are still getting used to it. We're sitting here spamming ammo trying to pick it up, but nothing happens. And well, that's intended because you can't pick up items anymore while healing. In fact, you can't even jog anymore. I'm only exaggerating a little. Fortnite has secretly changed a feature that's remained untouched since day one and players are not happy about it. To make chapter five feel like a brand new game, they've revamped the entire movement mechanics, so gameplay feels more fluid and tactical. Personally, I love the animations, but that wasn't the only thing they changed. We now run slower than usual, making build fights really clunky. Fortnite had to release a statement saying they hope you'll consider the update and get used to it over time, but they do hear concerns, so we'll have to wait and see how this pans out. Last season, you would be minding your own business until a ripped encounter took you by surprise. They always had an item worth taking, and we were excited to see the new encounters in Chapter 5. Well, about that, there isn't any. The whole feature is now gone, and no one knows when it'll return. Just like one of the biggest changes in years. Sure, everyone's been distracted by the new locker UI, but no one's talking about the most controversial part. The second you open your list of outfits, they all look the same. Skin rarities have been removed from the icon, so if you sort by rarity, you can hardly tell what's going on. The only way to see the outfit's rating is by looking above the name, but there was nothing wrong with the old system. Usually when things are secretly removed, it's for a reason, but Epic should probably take a second look at this. Now let's talk about a change that nobody's noticed, which is hiding in ammo boxes. Most of us just open these and move on with our lives, yet if you paid attention to what you got from these crates, you would notice something is totally missing. In the past, whenever you opened a big ammo box, you would almost always get a shield potion from it. Well, not anymore. They're gone from chapter 5, so you'll have to stick the medallions of floor loot for your precious heals. Just don't expect XP to be handed to you this time around. For the first time in years, Fortnite has decided not to give us any storyline quests or audio logs. It's a super weird decision, but I'm hoping we get them in a future update. For now, we're stuck with the generic challenges that focus is more on gameplay, especially when that gameplay is so different from last season. Not only has Fortnite changed walking, lockers, and ammo boxes, they've even modified the storm. You might have noticed that every time you load into Battle Royale, it feels like the storm sweeps you up in seconds. We barely have time to loot a POI before getting out of there, and even when we outrun the storm, it still shoots past us. That's because Epic have changed the speed, making each circle faster than ever before. Fortnite has also secretly removed a game-changing feature. In Chapter 3 and 4, we had our minds blown by Timber Pines. These special trees could be cut down and they would have physics or rolling down rivers or crushing players to death. It was incredible and we expected it to survive the upgrade to a new island. Well, we were wrong. The new map doesn't include a single timber pine. I didn't see that one coming. And I definitely wasn't expecting daily quests to be removed. You heard me right. Fortnite has disabled regular daily challenges, replacing them with the ones that appear at the start of a match. You only have three to choose from and yet you still have to complete all of them to get the bonus XP. So instead of cranking out all your daily quests in one match, it has to be at least three separate games now. Not to mention, party assist is a no-go. Safe to assume players do not like this change. But they are happy to see the removal of Fortnite's most annoying item. Now that fishing is back, we can return to chilling on the dock and collecting some small fry. In fact, it's almost too relaxing in Chapter 5, so something's wrong. Well, Fortnite has secretly removed the most common fishing reward, rusty cans. Now, you won't be pulling this useless garbage out of the water. It is guaranteed to be a healing item, which is so much better. And look, it's nice to have a break, especially with how overwhelming all this new Chapter 5 stuff can be. To prevent it being too over the top, Epic has secretly disabled reality augments. You know those perks which made the game super fresh? Well, they are gone for now. They're definitely going to return later this season, but if you open the perks menu only for it to be quests instead, and now you know why. Fortnite puts a lot of work into these features, and that's why it's shocking when some of the biggest changes get removed after a couple months, like mud. This had so much detail and effort behind it. We were expecting mud to reappear in at least some Chapter 5 locations, locations. It's just wet soil they could add it anywhere, but I guess they chose to abandon it entirely. And even though slap juice has been removed, there's still a secret way to get it. You might have noticed 
that splashes and regular bottles are gone, but not the barrels. These are still scattered around the map if you need unlimited stamina. I just hope they bring back the slap splashes though because they were insanely useful. But I really don't want to see the return of moving llamas. These have finally been added to the vault. We thought Epic got rid of them for the OG season and would bring them back in chapter 5, but that's not the case. They must have seen how popular this change was, deciding to give us motionless llamas instead. It is just so refreshing to not chase these guys around anymore, especially when half of the vehicles are missing. Fortnite has removed most of the cars from the Joyride update, leaving us without a pickup, sedan, semi-truck, and taxis. It's probably because of the new car customization, so I guess we'll stick to that in the new SUVs. Not the only feature that's been replaced, upgrade benches are nowhere to be found, and it's all because of weapon mods. I mean, obviously you could see this coming. If we could add attachments to weapons, what's the point in spending gold on a new rarity? Although in my opinion, they should have incorporated upgrade benches into these new modding stations, because you'll spend all this gold just to be stuck with a gray shotgun. Now, one thing that was crucial to a ton of players has been deleted. If you're playing zero build, one of the most important things you could have is a porta bunker, but we dropped into the new map only to find we have no cover in zero build. Not entirely true, there is the new ballistic shield to help out, but with how rare they are to find, it's a pretty controversial change. There's also an update that people are rejoicing over. Fortnite OG was spanned with RPGs, quads, and especially grenade launchers. With a change to how fast they exploded, it was insanely overpowered and players gotta wait to see them gone. Now, if you played the first few days of the season, you might have come across rocket ammo, but don't worry, all explosives have been vaulted and now Epic has patched out rockets too. A feature that was only introduced a few months ago has already been wiped from the game. Wilds brought us the jungle and a bunch of new features like these special plants. They would give a huge jump boost, slurp effect, create stink clouds, or even explode. We've all used them at some point for the shields, but now they are gone. The same goes for an item that Epic's made useless. With the new changes allowing you to heal on the go, the Med Mist was the only item that could do that. Now there's no point in keeping it around, so it's no surprise they removed it. And for any players that like to collect free items, the new change to rank rewards is horrible. Until now, you would get one easy quest for each match you play, slowly earning all the items. But now you have to play even longer because urgent quests have been removed entirely. Instead, now you gotta survive storm circles all the way up to a total of 99. Yeah, that's a lot. And you won't be able to rely on Slurp Juice to survive either. This was easily the most OP consumable of chapter four, acting like a chug jug, which only took half a second to use. Almost everyone had them and loved the new changes. Obviously it left for OG, but when we returned, most of us expected to see it back. It looks like Fortnite had other plans, vaulting the item instead. I will say this, I don't think anyone's complaining though, it was the worst to fight against. But it makes sense they're gone, especially when you realize you can get them from capture points. These things were a cool addition to chapter four, allowing you to mark a huge area for chests and enemies while claiming a bunch of high level loot. They're honestly useful, so I'm shocked to see they've been removed from all POIs this season. Now you could only claim one at Loot Island, but it doesn't even give you a mythic, and not to mention the original island was removed and changed to this new one. OG also brought back one thing we hadn't seen for almost a year, supply drops. They got removed to make room for combat caches, which wasn't exactly the best replacement. We got them back for a month and hoped they would stick around, but nope, Epic loves these frickin' loot caches. We also have no scar or pump shoddy. We just got them back for a month and hoped Fortnite would keep them around, but we have already had to say goodbye with them being replaced by a fake scar. I'll admit this thing totally fooled me, but it's actually the Striker AR, not to mention the fact that the pump is entirely gone and we never even got the OG model after they teased it. One item that is completely missing is the thing that got us here. We know that Jones arrived safely, so where's the time machine? It could have been an easy opportunity to introduce each season of the chapter, but instead, nobody knows where it's gone, and the same goes for the rocket it was strapped to. It wasn't the only way to fly around in chapter four either. We all got pretty used to the geysers. These were basically natural launch pads around the map and were amazing for mobility, but despite the fresh new island, there is none on it. Hey, eh, at least you can still find random launch pads at the top of mountains. Now don't expect to place any yourself because traps did not make it to the new season. Whether it's a launch pad, cozy campfire, or the iconic spikes, everyone loved using them in OG, but sadly, none have made it over. They also secretly removed hiding spots. A lot of players would try to camp inside a dumpster or a porta potty to reach the end game, and I won't lie, it worked pretty well, but now they have been deleted without anyone realizing. If you find one, they're just props again with no way of getting inside, so you'll have to use the sewers instead. That is everything secretly removed in Fortnite Chapter 5. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.